Hello, I'm Witless. And I'm Errol. And I know it's been a whole almost like two weeks yeah. since we had this a review. Time you rose at the end. <laughs> you did. <laughs> it's been two weeks since we had a review, and that's because Amanda keeps going away on the weekends because she has a life. This weekend you're gone again. Yes, I'm going home. <sighs> So that means no more Mandapan fun. She's not going <laughs> to hang out like with us. Four days. Four whole days? I know, like after like... Who am I going to talk to on Gmail chat? After like two days, you're like, it's been so long since we <laughs> hung out. <laughs> before that, we hadn't hanged out, hung out a lot before that. A week. See, it was a whole week. Some of my friends I don't see for like a month. <laughs> We are here to review. Oh, wait, what's that? That Jiayun fat, isn't it? Yes. It's and a bunch of other people. A bunch I'm of not other very, I'm not Chinese actually very actors. familiar with a lot of uh, the latest Asian cinema. I think this is like at least two, a year or two years old. Is it? I think so. Oh. And it's yeah. an old western. It takes place in China. It's not. Is it? That's not a western. There's guns and horses. Yeah, but it's and not they're a in the western. West, kind of. Is there West China? Well, what 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 defines a western? Well, it's like western. You think like you know cowboys in the in they the 19th be... century to be specific. It doesn't have a western feel to me though. It doesn't. There's trains. There's horses. There's bandits. Yeah, but they're better than cowboys. Oh well, yeah. Oh, you yeah. don't like you don't like westerns. I I they're. Uh, I don't know. I've never seen one. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a, a group of bandits who, um, in 1920 China, who um, get it into their heads that they want to pretend to be. Well, the leader gets it into his head that he wants to pretend to be a governor to try and swindle. It's really cool because I didn't yeah. know what the movie was about either. So yeah. this guy holds up this train, yeah. hoping to steal all the money. Except there's no money on this train, except for this uh, governor. Yeah. Who says he's not a governor, he's a counselor, and blah, 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 yeah. blah. And so he decides, well, instead of, you know, trying to hold the governor for ransom or whatever, because he has no money now, they have to make money yeah. at the little town, he chooses to impersonate the governor himself. But when he arrives at the town, which is called Goose Town, Goose Town, he finds that the, the local mafia guy is running the town. Yeah. And so it becomes a cat and mouse game as they try to... Um, Win over people, as they try and get... Or, yeah, just keep control of the situation. Do you need to get that? Yeah, maybe. In case it's scary. Pause! Uh, no more. It's actually running. So, uh, you just, just come over. Yeah, come over. Bye-bye. Who's pretending to be the governor? Mm. Get involved. However, the the uh, the real governor, who's pretending not to be the governor, he's like the shady uh, liar that's it's constantly slimy, trying to kind of manipulate, sneaky, right? And so it's all three of them in this big cat and mouse game. And uh, if it and sounds complicated, that's because it's it very is. complicated um, and it's hilarious. This yeah. movie is freaking <laughs> it was brilliant. So it's, I, now, oh. it's sad because there was only eight people in the theater And the, the rest time. of them were like, this is foreign, therefore it is art. It is good. We take it seriously. The, yeah. the subtitle text? Oh my god. It's subtitled, sadly, but it's... I don't mind that, but for I a lot actually people prefer don't. subtitles, yeah. but even this one, though... But it's quick. You know, it's like this really zingy back and forth and some... And even even without the subtitles, like, even if you understand it, the plot itself... It's yeah, complicated. It, it's complicated, like... Yeah, uh, every every five minutes or so, I think the game changes up, and someone yeah. else has to pretend to be somebody else being someone else. And it's great, other than some like spotty CG work. That was <laughs> very spotty. Very CG. spotty CG. Anytime work. there was any CG work, it it's was spotty. like here comes <laughs> the bird. <laughs> Again, I have to sort of get used to like Asian film and that things just sort of come out of nowhere. 
like either plot developments or characters who just pop up for like one scene and are supposedly significant to the plot and then just never come back yeah. again. And they also kind of like don't lead up to things, so no. all of a sudden they jump from scene to scene. Yeah. Like, remember when it jumps to uh, Cherry's part, where she's just going like this, all of a sudden yeah. she's a boom, it's down to Cherry's part, and she's Wait, having Cherry's a gun. Wait, Cherry's a prostitute in the movie. And she's uh... I guess it is a western. And, <laughs> brothel, silver, brothel, silver. Oh, yeah. trains, horses. Yeah, why were Horses pulling the train. I don't know. At the very you beginning, <laughs> there's a train that's being pulled by horses. And, and I don't it wouldn't know bother why. me so much, except this train was also steam powered. Yep. So, so I wasn't sure sense. what the horses were for. It's a very violent film too. Very so violent. So there's violence all the way through it. There's like, a lot of there's a lot of blood splatter. A lot of movie. blood splatter. And some of it's kind of comical. I think the one of the most funniest things was during the banquet. Oh my god. <laughs> There's this banquet scene. I like. It was a really great banquet scene. It actually kind of veered towards like a Tarantino scene almost. Just the length of it and the and the language that was being used and it's uh, part of the whole talking back and forth, trying to like feel each other out as they're and intimidate at the same time. Yeah, and it's uh, it was very, brilliant. I loved it. Yeah, um, but there was also yeah these like three guys. These three guys that were <laughs> positioned over spikes, like they're going. Yeah. Because they're ready to be executed. Yeah. It was just like every once in a while in the conversation, one of them would fall, or yeah, and, and you just hear, "Oh, another one died." Ah, there's a there's a soldier at the beginning when they were on the train. They're, so they're so at the beginning, like you see this train, and there's a governor, his wife, and their counselor in the one car, and then they go to the next car to talk to these soldiers <laughs> that are there. And like he's like, uh, I don't know what the I don't know what the question was. He was like if they'd like something to eat. Oh yeah, would you like something to eat? And the guy in the most high pitched voice ever says soldiers do not eat <laughs> It's a good film, and all the characters that were played, they did a really good job. They did a great you job. You know what I really liked about Cherry, the prostitute? Yeah. Is the is is her fake smile is brilliant. She she's she doesn't like where she is, but she knows that her life depends on it because yeah. she's been bought by yeah. the local thug, and so she has this perfect fake smile. So I also really like the lead actor, the guy who played Pocky. Yes, that was his name. His Pocky. name Zhang Wen. And uh, he um, or Wen Zhang. He was brilliant. He just had the perfect balance of like. Uh, like intimidating and quiet, and yet he could be kind noble, of goofy too. At, and noble. Yeah. But he could be goofy at the same time. Yeah. Like he had that comedic timing. We can ask Leaf what he thinks. What did you think of the movie, Leaf? Well, uh, I he's making this too high brow. Enough of Leaf. <laughs> <laughs> like for a film that I knew nothing about. Yeah, I knew nothing it, about it either. I know. I was, he's just like, wow. Well, this one and, yes. and it was uh Italian fats in it it has like an 80 percent uh rating on rotten tomatoes let's go watch it and an 84 percent for the audience so yeah unlike the innkeepers <laughs> oh another funny thing was the totoro poster was back <laughs> and now i feel like because when 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 we saw it the first time and he screamed like a little girl and, and they took it down afterwards i feel like they took it down because he freaked out. Because it was back up again. <laughs> they were like, okay, the, the weird good. Asian guy is gone. Let's put it's the Totoro nice poster back up. It's a very nice poster. I like that it's poster. It's a very nice poster. Uh, when, yeah. when it comes in the theater, are you going to come? We should go together. I've never seen I'll it. I'll bring my so. girl. <gasps> you haven't seen it? <laughs> <laughs> I was also curious yeah. near the end. When the landmine scene happened, <laughs> that was curious. That, that, that was, was that was, yeah, there are, admittedly there are a couple of scenes in there where you're like, what? what? So, okay. Um, oh well, it worked out in the well, end. Look, someone says something funny. Hooray! <laughs> it's Gangster's a good one. You should go see that. This thing is brilliantly f funny and hilarious and mm. a fun movie. Yeah. Go see it. Go see it. It's great. I didn't even talk about you being a good actor this time around. No, this you movie didn't. Was so I'm good. very proud of you, but that's because wow. Leaf came over and in between you tortured me. Yeah, it was awesome. We weren't recording then. <laughs> And I'm glad, because he would have edited all of it into this. I should teach you how to edit video. Yeah? I yeah. don't have an editing program. We'll get you one. Well, Just buy one. It's like 600 bucks. Yeah. I don't have 600 bucks. Yes, you do. You just, you 
know, what do you spend it on now? Fun? Frivolity? Rent? Boys? Laundry? Some boys. Ooh! No. Some? How many do you have? <laughs> I should, not have, I should not have said anything. <laughs> it's like, will Errol leap on this? Yes, <laughs> I'm saying it though. <laughs> and it's too late. My name is Errol. My name is Still Witless. You guys have a great night. Bye bye. bye, -bye.